In this demo, I'm going to show you how ProSmart CPQ automates and streamlines the creation and ongoing management of complex sales agreements. These sales agreements are typically used in response to bids and RFPs. Let's get started. I'll play the role of a salesperson who has to put together an agreements quote for some fruit products which I want to sell to Stone Valley Foods. Starting in my CRM, you can see that I've already created a record for this opportunity. Now I'm going to add a pros quote to start building the sales agreement and give my agreement a name. Now I'll save this quote record to the opportunity. Once that's saved, I can now open it up to start adding products which I want to be included in this agreement for Stone Valley. In the pros quote that's now attached to the opportunity record, you can see that the system has generated an agreement ID and also provided a status of this agreement. From here, I can now start adding products to the sales agreement. ProSmart CPQ includes a guided quoting process, which allows me to go to any step of the quote journey. I'll begin at the pricing step, which will take me directly into the quote, or as some people know it, the cart. Instead of adding products one at a time into the sales agreements, I'm going to just go ahead and do a mass import. I'll navigate to my file and import the products that I want to be included in the sales agreements. Now that this is imported, I'll make some quick modifications to my quote view. From here, I'll go ahead and make a mass update for my discount. I want to replace my discount from manual to guidance. This is going to provide me with optimized prices for every single line item that is tailored to Stone Valley Foods. I'll select a discount level. We'll go with the target discount. And from here, I'll update. Now that this has been updated, I'll go to the next step, which is managing the terms and conditions for the sales agreement. In this view, I can now define the minimum quantity, the committed revenue I'm expecting per year, and also provide any price protection which I might want to include with the sales agreement. Let's modify the minimum quantity orders first. We'll go ahead and do this again with a mass update. For the committed revenue per year, I'll go ahead and I'll make a mass update also. For price protection, I'm going to go ahead and provide them a clause saying that I will not increase the price of blueberries for the next 90 days. I'll do the same thing with strawberries. For bananas, I want to change the model from an on-demand order to a monthly subscription. You can now see that a subscription discount is automatically applied to the line item for bananas. To finish this off, I can look at the deal insights where I can get analytics charts that help me to understand the impact of this sales agreement. Once this is done, I'll go ahead and close out the quote. I'll submit this sales agreement for approval. I'll add a note for my manager. Now the sales agreement is on its way to my manager for approval. With the approval, the agreement status has been changed to published. And alongside that, I now have a contract ID for this agreement. Once a sales agreement has been published, Postmark TBQ stores the agreed upon prices into the central pricing repository, allowing Stone Valley to purchase off the sales agreement at a future date if they're within their terms and conditions. If at a future date, I want to make modifications to the sales agreements, that's pretty easy to do. To make the modification, I'll go into the contract ID, and from here, I'll go ahead and I'll create an amendment for the sales agreement. Once the amendment has been created, I can now go into the record and make the modifications that I want to the sales agreement. Let's say we want to now add napkins to the sales agreement. And I want to delete lettuce and celery. What you can see is that ProSmart CPQ does not just remove the line items, but it grays them out so I know modifications have been made. Another quick way where I can understand the modifications which I'm making to my sales agreements is to go to the amendment tab. And here it shows me that I have deleted lettuce and celery and added napkins. I'll go ahead and I'll close the quote. Back in my CRM view, you see that my agreement status is amending. I'll go ahead and I'll submit this for approval. And once the agreement has been approved, the status now changes to published. So now ProSmart CPQ has stored the modified product and price records in the central pricing repository. 
In this demo, you saw how ProSmart CPQ can streamline the setup and the management of sales agreements for sales teams. ProSmart CPQ. It's a one tool that you need to help improve your sales productivity while accelerating deal velocity. Thanks for watching.